Hello people, it's the Three Chord Kid here. Just thought I'd show you. Inside the room, this is my room that I sleep in. In the house, I'm being put up in. Just thought I'd show you. This is me. Just up to the tall I'm shell. <laughs> my guitar. One of my guitars. The ones in the other room. A little classical. Still playable. That's it really. This is one of my scarves there that I usually use when I'm playing. One my knee. So this is basically it. I've been having a look at this Crossroads Guitar Auction at a Clapton and Friends. This was when he auctioned his guitars off, and this was um, brought back from New York for me. And I have to say, it's an amazing piece of work. Bit of info on each guitar by his guitar tech. And some of the Martins, and I just die for them. You know, they are just unbelievable. Looking at some of this though, I have, to, I have to say Clapton is very much a victim of um, fashion, isn't he? You know, like the 70s, he epitomised the 70s. In the 80s to 90s, he got the bouffant there. See? Those suits. All probably Armani suits like, but just the actual style of them is just slightly too naff. A man with his money could definitely have got himself a bespoke tailored Savile Row suit and could have looked like a million dollars I'd have thought but this is what's wrong look at all this here it's just all too naff it's a, a contrived look actually it's not that I dislike Clapton I just think he's fucking style shite he just gets into that thing whereas in here earlier on when you look back on them earlier on, I mean, that's not too bad, like, but that's, even that's contrived. The wear boots, wear pants, and two shares. Not taking that away from him, he's a superb musician. Without a shadow of a doubt. I had that Martin there, one of them there. That one there. Once. Best sounding guitar I've ever played, actually. It's a stunning guitar. And if I'm right, I think this guitar was uh, it's triple O twenty eight that I used on Unplugged was uh, given to him by Stephen Stills. If I'm right, I think it's this one here. I'm sure of it. Anyway, I, I just adore my guitars, and to me, there's nothing to come close. Nothing. Well, I've played most guitars. There's only a couple I haven't played. I haven't played the uh, Froggy Bottom, is it? Never played one of them. I just know it'll be superb. And it's a bourgeois. I've never played one of those. But, you know, these guitars, you can see him there. He's well, well at alcoholic there, isn't he? Look at the eyes, man. He has been through the mill that way, hasn't he? I, actually, around about this time, I thought he looked fucking cool. Definitely. It is a bourgeois, there. Look at this one. See, that's a bit contrived, that isn't it? I think it is anyway. Now this here, see this guitar here? D28. That is the guitar that I would really love to, to own. If I ever get money, that's a guitar I want to own. Most definitely. See, there's that air cut, see? Being styled by someone. Not quite so natural. Still full of A few this morning. That's a nice guitar though. That's like a Stephen Stills one though. That's a stunning guitar though. Look at that, doesn't that look fantastic?
you know, looking at this picture here, you know, George Allison was a bit like that when he went all weird in the 80s. You know, like leather jackets with padding in the shoulders and all that shit. What are you doing with that one? The Martin guitars. They're just to die for. Yes, amazing guitars. And just looking at some of them, the way they all appear, uh, someone said to me this is all TAV, meaning uh, all this stuff's created by uh, the Tavistock Institute. And a great deal of it is the modern stuff, I think. All these chosen people, like. Now, looking at McCartney there, let's just take a closer look at that. Kind of money that man's got. You know, trying to wear the trainees with the suit routine, which you can only get away with when you're under 30. He's had a lot of, a lot of, he's had a couple of facelifts, I think. Because unfortunately, he really does look fucking ridiculous, doesn't he? He's always looked ridiculous, but he's alright, he just accepts what he is. I can deal with that. Ringo, complete sit. Fairway the low. The um, much underrated guitar player was a great guitar player for the love, I think. So there you are, this clapping in the middle, squeezed in there. And it's the usual, I, I don't know if you're like me, but I've never heard a concert that was basically free that sounded any good. And I don't think they mean it to be that way. It just goes that way. Free concerts usually is shite. Um, that's a good picture at that time, I think. I think that's great. I like this picture as well, where he's got a bit of the feather cut going on. But still, he's doing the fashion thing. But I do like the picture because, you know, it is Eric Clapton and he is a great player. And, you know. Now that is so contrived, that isn't it? Of course, anyone marries a woman, which I think he did in the 20s, when you're this old, is deluded. Deluded, no matter how much money they've got, they're fucking deluded. So, I think there's a picture at the back of this I wanted to show you somewhere here. There's Steve Ray Vaughan, a fucking gem. Master musician, without a doubt. I'm looking for... There's a picture in here of a suit that he's put in the auction. There's a... It's Bobbins there, the main man. There it is. What's going on here? What is going on here with this? How fucking bad does that look, man? There it is, look. Beer and everything. That's awful, that. Versace. So there's a little look at um, the Crossroads Guitar Auction Catalogue. That's what it is. And then. Um, I enjoyed looking at that. Hope you did too. So you've seen me room. This is it. This is where I am for the time being. I think it's nice. It's a nice view as well. Sometimes I sleep on the floor, by the way. I mean, I think I've just finished sleeping on the floor for two years. Anyway, that's a little insight into my room, where I'm staying. It's not actually my room, it's the room I'm using and staying in. So, I say to thee, cheerio, I'll catch you later. <laughs>
Thank mm-hmm. you.